<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to another video of mine. It's your boy Alon McConnell here live once again. Today we're looking at Overwatch 2. Blizzard guys just released a new video about everything and anything, and I'm curious what they put in, which took so many years to do. As you may know, I am a regular Overwatch player in the sense that I just play every day almost for an hour just to like relax and have my downtime here. So I'm curious what they have done and let's just dive right into it, shall we? Overwatch 2 is great. Today I'm breaking down and showing you examples for everything new. My name is Nate and welcome to Blizzard Guides. Hi Nate. This footage is all from the alpha, so things may have changed okay. since for the closed beta on the 26th. But let's okay. get into the changes. Now I'm going to introduce there for the beta. and highlight the kits I never of played all this. the reworked just, and new heroes. Now I know this. they've already been announced, but here's what it'll all actually look and work like. The more that's been changed about the heroes, the earlier it'll be in the video. So first off, Sojourn. So this is Her the new hero from Canada. Is a projectile-based railgun. Sure. The more damage that you deal, the more energy that you gain. But what is Holy energy? Crap. Well, your sure. secondary fire shoots a hit scan beam that can one-shot headshot. You use energy to charge that beam up. The more charge, the more damage. Her first ability is Power Slide. This is a high okay. mobility, cool. instantly fast like slide that allows her to get extra height from her jumps during Can't, the slide. Like this with is a, her core part of her kit. Instead of a... Her second ability oh, is Disruptor Shot. Think of it like okay. a mini like graviton that. surge that just slows you down instead of holding you back, and it also deals damage. It's really, really strong, and it's very scary. Deals damage? Pros. Okay. Another thing that is really scary when used by pros I, yeah. is her ultimate overkill. I don't doubt that. It's really simple. All it does is just make you auto charge energy, and it also lets you secondary fire through multiple oh. enemies. Now, trust me, it doesn't seem like it's a very strong ultimate, but seeing Overwatch League pros. That's Seems like a lot like Soldier. Not gonna lie soldier to you. Look insanely broken. Except so if you're spamming. Her best ability. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's her ultimate. The grenade launcher. Orisa has the had her shield removed. Before we talk about her shield no replacement, shield. her Finally, primary dude. fire so has slow. changed. This is what it looks like now. It just does more damage per pellet, but it has less pellets. It works on a cooldown system, so as long as this Music meter doesn't top out, you actually don't have to reload. Her secondary fire oh, is now what? an energy spear, and okay, her new okay. iconic item oh, across her kit. She throws the spear and knocks the enemy it hits uh, backwards, and much like Doom Punch, if the enemy gets knocked back into a wall, it does even more damage. Replacing her shield, it is her Wait, spear spin. It destroys incoming projectiles, but more importantly, it speeds her movement up and it pushes <laughs> enemies far back. I just want to say, I played Orisa against the Boston Yo, Uprising head coach, Lori. I like that a lot. And new Orisa's I like just insanely strong. Now, the way that Lori used this was by engaging deep with Fortify, Javelin spearing somebody into his own team, and then spear spinning them into a corner or further into his own team. He basically pulled somebody that. away from the team and then She's just so spear spun them deeper into the team. That it so was much. legitimately a crazy strong strategy. But it's just they took away the shield. I wish you could have that option. Combo. Now, in finally, the game, like, her ultimate shield is now Terra Lance. I'm just going to show whatever you instead of the point. Yeah. Also, the longer that you charge it, the more it does. So if you proc it immediately, it actually Wait. does less damage like this. Doomfist. Okay. Doomfist is a tank now and a pretty okay. decent one at Kinda that. Now, I don't think he's insanely spot. strong, but like that's what we thought about Doom shoot when her down he before she even released launched it, until players got really good at his techs. Uh, now he just seems to be a solid B, but maybe as a tank he'll be really good. His rocket punch is largely the same, it just does a lot less damage and doesn't okay. one shot, but it does charge quicker and he can potentially knock back multiple enemies with a punch too. Oh, what? Look at the damage, man. Doom got nerfed, bro. Uppercut what? Uppercut is just That's sad. And it's replaced so by his seismic slam, but you can actually just fly with seismic slam. So it's it's like what? the best of both worlds. It has a huge arc, but it doesn't do a ton of damage. But it is also insanely strong for making his gameplay feel fluid and just Why? unrestrictive as a whole. This man now, has I a think fist. Doom is a lot more fun because it's of this, massive. but not necessarily crazy strong like some of the other reworks. 
That's Next, so lame. his new That's ability so of replacing him stronger. uppercut entirely is Power Block, so which almost completely removes incoming damage from the front. In the alpha, it was about 90%. And if you block at least 100 damage, you get a Super Rocket Punch, which charges faster, travels further and faster, also allows you to hit more targets okay. in a wider I like area. I like that. And I like that a lot. enemies that get punched into a wall even okay. longer. His ultimate is largely the same, but just slows like that. enemies that got That could also be an option well. in a gameplay like. Now that is lame. No, he should have been dead. Dead. No, that's dumb. Bastion is a mobile Why did they tank. Do that to his my, primary my fire is slower, fist, but it also has no spread. So it's like a sniper a kind of gun, which just rewards like very high precision. It's it's, it's super fun and it has the potential. Oh to be my cool. god! Form, it's now called configuration assault instead of configuration imagine having sentry. like it just allows him to move playing that game mode where there's no restrictions and new ones is a bad thing. It has like infinite ammo, so you can just plow through things. It's That'll really so fun funny. to flank with, or it's also really fun to engage with. So I think this is a pretty cool ability. If Bastion now, wasn't annoying enough, and, and already, instead has oh a bouncing bomb I guess it'll be a lot more grenade. It sticks to the ground and players, but it bounces stuff, off of walls. But even cooler than that, it adds a movement ability to okay. Bastion's kit. Cool. Uh, that's just Energy. really cool. Finally, his robot. ultimate is Why just is way involved? different now. It's basically three Doomfist ults, but you're also exposed while you're ulting. They're very strong and can usually pick a lot of kills off, but they're also projectiles Holy in every sense, meaning they can be blocked or what? destroyed by other abilities. That happens so quickly. Now, I never no really tested to, like, if you could from that. it as Genji, and I'm kind of regretting that now as I'm writing the script. It's definitely something I should try once the beta drops, yeah. and you should too. What if you put it inside? Sombra. Like, can you now, shoot it from the going by ability, inside, or I just you want just to talk about all the that. changes as a whole since they all work in tandem. Now, first off, the hack is just completely I like it. I like it though. It still disables abilities, but it's only for one second instead of five. No. So you still use it to cancel ultimates and abilities. No. But you can also one hack second? while invisible, and it allows you no. to see hacked enemies through walls. And that includes your team. They can see them through walls, too. Okay. Now, on top of that, you also do extra damage to oh. hacked enemies due to your passive, making Sombra just the ultimate pounce and kill hero. And if that was not I enough, like her that EMP before, like, also takes 40% of the affected enemy's health on impact, so Sombra lives up to her opportunist role oh, where she wow. can strike and kill enemies that venture off okay, that's alone. Good. Okay. I guess a one second thing Now, is we're gonna bad. rapid fire through more of the minor changes to heroes that weren't I prefer really lasting. I prefer it lasting longer, Cassidy, not gonna lie. No more flashbang. Instead, he has a magnetic when, grenade, like which players, is a grenade that hones in on so enemies that are close to the reticle when you throw it. Now, in the alpha, it did about 100 damage to stuck enemies, so it's pretty good for cleaning up kills. Oh, and okay. also when he's using High That's Noon, he takes here. less damage, but otherwise he's pretty much the same. Zarya. But Zarya's made, bubble though? charges are now shared, meaning this it takes Halo 9 seconds for you to get a charge. That could have been someone else's new tactical. That could have been the Canadian superheroes Or mix it up and do a little bit of both. I don't know. That's kind of lame. You to I miss the selfish or a team play. New he's Zarya done. is pa -pa -pa -pa. insanely strong and way, way, way better. Definitely a main tank caliber. Finally, it took them Reinhardt. this long. Just Reinhardt can now steer his charge I was way better about as well as cancel it. Now, my footage got messed up when I recorded it, but you get the idea you can steal your charge. He also now has two fire strikes. So basically, Reinhardt in 5v5 means you get to dive deep into enemy lines and brawl your heart out. Winston. Winston now Fine. has a Only sniper two? rifle, and that's it. Lame. It's awesome, but it doesn't really change his kit that much. It'll be really cool to see how pros use it, but I don't think most players Come are gonna on, get it. Come on, man. He's a bloody scientist monkey. Are you kidding? Junkrat. I mean, hey. Junkrat's trap Come no on, longer man. completely stops enemies from moving, but rather it just slows you them down. You give him the like electronic grenade the trap. thing. Now, you can't use any of your movement abilities, so like you can't oh, dash yeah, or blink out of it, for I example, love it. but it does basically mean that the trap concussion mine combo isn't quite as reliable. Also, oh, concussion mines now have this blinking light to give them away more easily, so that's a bit of a nerf. May, I that. just I like, like Junkrat, that. May can no longer completely freeze them not seeing enemies, it, not it gonna just lie. slows them down. But her primary fire does more damage, so newbie Mays that never use their secondary fire are now justified in their newbiness. Now, I will say, her ultimate still does freeze people. It's only her primary that's changed oh my God, in terms of being able to freeze people. Brigida. 
Shield okay, Bash is fair. just basically removed. It doesn't main, stun anymore. Like, it just does he, 50 he damage. So you move fast, a little like, bit further, oh my God, but man. not really much else <laughs> changed. And I love actually, playing main with the bat, but like, being part be up on the other side is just so um, We'll talk a bit more about that later. Now, okay, let's talk about maps. No? That's All it? of the existing maps are different, and they oh, are different times, Echo and different everyone. Weather, weathers, and, and, and they just look way prettier. It, it actually looks really cool. There are what? some minor changes to existing ones, but overall, they're no, it's about not. the same. No, it's not. It's not cool. It's now, so... the new maps are pretty it's so good. Dumb. Uh, there's some weird balancing you on certain sections change the daylight? Are you kidding me? Uh, All these the years? level design is just not right. But overall, the new maps do feel like classic Overwatch what? maps with new ideas. There are new maps for existing game modes, the but there are also new maps game? for push. This is the same game. This is the same game. This could be a patch. Same game. What the heck? Is this wrong? Or policy in Europe? Nah, no, man. Don't get me wrong. It looks nice, but like. Am I missing something? So let's this talk the same? push. Because push is basically tug of war. Overall. You push this robot as far as you can towards the enemy spawn. Now, push is a fun game mode, but it can get a little back and forthy. I think it's a welcome addition, but it does have some problems that will back probably get sorted out by the Overwatch 2 launch. Like, for example, if one team pushes the robot really far, but not quite to the end, as the second team, you can get really demoralized really quickly because you can push it pretty far, but not get as far as the enemy did. But compared to Assault or 2CP, it is way what? more fun and That's a That's literally the same game mode so that we overall, play. Definitely. We've been playing this whole time. It. It's really enjoyable, <laughs> you and you can get really creative with playstyles on push game modes compared to other game modes. Bro, this ain't nothing new, bro. This is literally the same as the cargo. You Next, push there it, is a ping system, and if you beat the team enough, it goes back. Really fancy. Like, it's, it's just the same a ping shit. system, like every other game. It's the same Honestly, thing. Honestly, I don't know why this was an Overwatch a thing. It robot. feels like this could have probably made it into Overwatch 1 really easily. Hopefully, you players will now? use it. Uh, but in sick. the alpha, it just didn't really get much use. So Apex maybe Legends that'll change stuff. once more players play the game. Because I hate talking on the comms Two. sometimes. I'm not a, a talker on Overwatch. When I play, I just tend to like, you know... And finally, Take it 5v5. Easy now, Mindlessly you know 5v5 like, is happening, talk. but I just want to quickly oh say, God. if you are feeling hesitant about it's it, paying and like use your emotes and have fun, like I love that. And it's that still mean. really fun. Like, he's From communicating with teammates without saying a single word. Me. That's like the best. It definitely that's best. feels really weird, but that's it best doesn't game feel game. bad. It's fun. I enjoyed it. So hold your opinions until you've actually tried it. I was pretty skeptical. Okay. It's, it's a really cool spin on the game, and it changes the pace a lot. But it's still very familiar, and you still have the awesome interactions oh, that you know the only thing I'm worried from about. Overwatch. Now, that being said, supports I hope are com completely the same. They didn't change the supports. They didn't this add any. Player. Maybe in the beta they will, but the community have been complaining about this a lot, and honestly, I actually don't mind it. I, I play a lot of supports, particularly Lucio, and the 5v5 format changes things up and enough to Lucio where the now. lack of support changes actually doesn't feel egregious. I felt like the idea of being a support changes in 5v5, and you have a lot more opportunities to like be a damage dealer or on focus road? on your utility more rather than your healing. So support actually has a lot more opportunities for creativity instead of just being a steed and heal bot for your tanks. But anyway, that's this round of recaps for everything new since the Overwatch 2 Alpha. Things are subject to change in the beta, so maybe Man, all this information is outdated. I'm like, I'm very but curious. I want to know what are you most excited to try. Leave a comment down below, true, and true. then also check out our Discord, Twitter, and it up, Instagram from the links in the description down below. But anyway, this cannot I hope be you guys it, enjoyed man. this one. Because it's the nice same day. bloody game. My name is Nate, and this was Blizzard Guys. This is a patch. This, is a, this could have been a patch, bro. No shots. No shots, man. This is the same game. This is the same game. I don't know what I just witnessed. This is the same game. This could have been a patch. Honestly. 1.5. Overwatch 1.5.
I'm disappointed. I, I expected more new players, which I, I, I presume in the next four years, yes. But, like, I thought they would do more with their environments. Like, you have all these great maps, right? I thought they would, like, introduce more locations and maps. Like, imagine if they took Paris or Egypt or whatever, Canada, right? You go on the same map, but it's different locations. I thought it would be different locations, but the same map. So you still have the same location that happening every time. Would be just be a different location, but you can see it from afar, from a distance. Like you just look over by the sea or by the car. I thought they would just expand everything, and I thought they'd go bigger and better. I thought they would do such a thing. The new hero is cool, but there's nothing. There's nothing like whoa. You know what I mean? This is the wow factor. It's literally soldier to me. He's like boom, boom. But it seems fun. Like I like the real gun idea. I think the real gun idea should have been like Bastion's. Actually, that doesn't make any sense. Actually, I don't know. I think they could have created a hero that could have used the environment more. Like there's so much happening on the environments that what if a character was able to use the rocks around the environment or use the birds or like the walls as like a weapon instead? You know what I mean? That would have been cool. Like, you really have Lucio, like, probably the only character that can actually utilize the whole environment. But there's no other characters that could do that. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's the letdown. In terms of, like, guns and projectiles, like, it's cool. Going back to when it was first released, it's all about projectile game. I didn't see anything about Reaper or Symmetra. It would be cool they brought back, like, the soul healing. It didn't bring him back and focusing on, like, the DPs. They could have brought back the healing factor for Reaper. like Because that was really, really fun. Like, Reaper was broken at that time, but it was so much fun. He was a one-man army just going in and out, boom, 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 and healing himself. And I think that's what they're trying to, like, achieve here with the four, five-man squad here. So, if they want to go for that intensity and, you know, like, everyone's, like, on themselves now instead of relying on the team, it's cool. It's cool. I will miss the day. That's sort of team player aspect because it definitely relied heavily on the team play in the beginning of the game, right? So now it's more breaking out in branches and like, now now you only need one healer. That's good enough to heal everyone else, I guess. Uh, it's interesting, it's interesting. But is that it? Like, nothing else about the heroes? Like, Mercy especially? Like, she's practically useless at this point, no? Like, they, they did her so dirty the past few years, bro. She was able to heal everyone at the same time. Now they got this stupid animation that goes slow, like, and you're vulnerable, and you're so vulnerable. And she gave her a bloody pistol for her specialty, which, let's be realistically, no one has gotten so many kills with her. You had to be so lucky, and your players had to be so dumb not to react to that sort of stupid pistol. And then what happened to DVA? Like, uh, what happened? Like, what's going on? What happened to the other players? Nothing new? Like, I hope there's, I hope there's more. I'm really hoping there's more characters and more tactical aspects. Otherwise, if it's the same damn thing, bro, what's the point? All you have done is change the outlook at the bottom with the help bar and like the... Uh, uh, oh, man. Like, I'm not saying that a lot of work has gone into it, a lot of things has gone into it, but like, come on, man. Seriously? Seriously? Like, imagine that new character that could use this sort of food truck as a weapon, you know what I mean? Or like, use the doors and like fling it at enemies and what did it brought in like a battlefield aspect to it like every time you shoot something walls will break down or something or like windows will start to break i guess it'll be too much for the human eye to like perceive but like it'd be so sick if you have characters using the environments or something bullets and energy like there's also like other projectiles you could use i don't know man. i don't i don't know i'm uh maybe i'm just the only one thinking that i don't know i thought it'd be i think they would just i thought it would go bigger and better man like this is still, this is still just a patch. <laughs> it's not a second game, man. It's not a second game for me. Anyways, I think this is taking too long. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys thought of it at the bottom in the comments below. Sorry, I'm mumbling my words. I'm just hungry and I can't think straight. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> ciao, ciao. Oh.